All right, check a one, two, check a one, two. This is for my B-boys out there. I know I've been away for a while. I know I've been talking about this music and that music, and it's been a month since I, I did the five perfect hip-hop albums, but we're back again. Five perfect hip-hop albums for the B-boys out there. You know how we do. You know I'm a B-boy at heart, and we're getting into it. Brand Nubian. All right, all for what? No, one for all. <laughs> Brand Nubian, one for all. Classic album. Bonafide classic carved in stone when you saw the cover I know that you heard those those slow down horns du, 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 du. One and one for all the title track is one of the greatest hip-hop tracks of all time This album's a classic. I don't have to get into it too much. You know what it is If you don't know what it is get to know what it is next up poor righteous teachers And I always have these five perfect albums I always have at least one album or two albums that are up for debate this may not come up in people's lists, but it should. It's a reggae-centric, boom-bastic, groovy, lyrically sharp, energized album that is just like, it's the kind of album you just pull on. You, you might be like hanging out, playing cards or, or, or something, or just shooting the breeze. Just pull it in the background. You bang your head and you just enjoy it. It's just non-stop assault of good hip-hop. And it's, it's, it's unique, it's very like reggae centric and I love it. Great album, doesn't get spoken of enough. Poor Righteous Teachers, Black Business. Next up, Ice Cube, America's Most Wanted. My analogy for this record is like, you know how Tribe Called Quest's first album is a classic album, but it gets overshadowed by Low End Theory and Midnight Marauders that came after it? This is what this is. like. Death Certificate, the album that came after it, is seen as such a bona fide classic, people forget about this record, but this record, I saw him when he was touring this record and it blew my mind. This album is such a great album, produced by the Bomb Squad. Hank Shockley, Keith Shockley, Chuck D and Eric Vietnam Sadler are credited with production. Enough said, and Ice Cube, one of the greatest of all times, classic. This is not a curveball. Careless, one criminal minded. I mean, this is just a. Should I give it the ultimate? Ah, I'm going to give it the ultimate. Let's just look at it and just pay homage. Yeah, Careless's debut album. His second album is a bona fide classic too, but come on. I'm giving it the ultimate respect. Not much to say. Just look at it. And next up, please don't accuse me of being lazy again. But. We just got to look at this and pay homage. Pete Rock and CL Smooth, Mecca and the Soul Brother. Like, come on. Bangers after bangers. And I've got it signed. You cannot go wrong with this record. I, I doubt I'll get any pushback on this record. The comments are probably going to be about PRT and maybe Ice Cube. But Mecca and the Soul Brother, I don't even say act like you know, because you know. Five perfect hip-hop albums. Let's keep it tuned in. High five recluse. Good fine records. Let's go.